Hi, Shane from the Reptile Doctor here. And today's video involves this little girl. She's a spiny tail monitor, or commonly known as an Aki. And her problem is that she is egg bound. So she's laid a couple of eggs over the last couple of days, but has been digging furiously to lay the others and hasn't done it. And uh, her owners are a bit concerned that she was having problems, so she brought her in today. And she's certainly egg bound. So we're going to be taking her to surgery and remove the eggs and I'm going to show you just a bit of video in a second of the ultrasound that we've done on her and you'll be able to see those eggs fairly clearly. So we've anaesthetized this little monitor and we've got her prepped up for surgery. So she's obviously lying on her back here. We've got these sterile clear drapes. We use the clear drapes because it just allows us to see the old an whole animal. We can check whether she's breathing or not and uh, whether everything else is going on well. So we've got her hooked up to the ventilator. If you've watched any of our other videos, you would have seen and heard me say that reptiles don't breathe when they're under anesthesia, so we have to ventilate them. So you'll hear a soft little clicking noise in the background. That's our uh, ventilator. It's going about one breath every 15 to 20 seconds at the moment. And so we're going to make an incision down her belly. You probably can't appreciate it on the video, but I can see a couple of bumps sitting up in her abdominal wall here, and that's probably those retained eggs in underneath. So we'll go ahead and make the incision and get in there and remove these eggs. So I've made an incision in the abdominal wall. Our monitor's skin's pretty thick, so it takes a little bit of effort to get it through. But We've managed to get through there without too much of a problem and straight away I'm confronted with what looks to be the retained eggs sitting just there. So we're going to go ahead and have a bit of an explore around, see what we can see. Uh, reproductive problems aren't that common in monitors. We don't really see a lot of them having problems. More common in the dragon species, particularly essential bearded dragons. So it's a little, little bit un unusual to get a monitor in, but not unheard of. So here we are, we've exteriorized those two eggs. And you can still see they're still within the, the uterus of the cell pinks. And you can also see they're quite, quite soft when I squeeze on those. When she initially came in and I was having a feel around them and I couldn't feel these eggs and I wasn't convinced that she was egg bound. It wasn't until we did the ultrasound that I confirmed that she had the two eggs still stuck in there. So they're quite soft. They'll be, they'll be infertile, they're probably slugs, the other eggs that She's already laid up to, to now have been slugs or infertile eggs. So we'll go ahead and make a little incision in the wall of the uterus here and get those eggs out. The wall of the uterus is very, very thin. And we want to just, just go through it, try not to cut into the egg. And I'm just using a very fine, sharp pointed scalpel blade just to make a little incision. You can see there that egg popping out. Here's our first one. So you can see it's very deflated and very soft. That's our first one. And for our second one, we will just Hopefully we'll be able to manage it, squeeze it up through that same incision I just made. And I'll just grab the end of it, just gently. Here it comes. Again, very soft. There's the first one. There's the second one. So they're both about the normal size for a species, for this species, but I think they're just completely infertile slugs. She just hasn't been able to actually push them out. So I often get asked whether I close up the uterus when the eggs are taken out. In a lot of cases I won't. Depends a little really on how thick the tissue is and how easy it comes back together. So this tissue is quite, 
quite thick, so we might put a couple little stitches in that just to close that hole over. Yana wishes to breed from this lizard later on, so we're not going to desex, we're not going to spay her or take her ovaries out. I think she's just been unlucky and had those couple of eggs that just got stuck. And I'm just having a look around the rest of the abdominal cavity, making sure everything looks okay. We haven't got any other issues going on. And that all looks pretty good. Looks all pretty normal there. She's got good fat, so she's in reasonable body condition. She's a little bit thin. She's just coming out of brumation her winter winter sleep. So she could do with a little bit of condition on, but she's not too bad. So I'll go ahead and close that hole up. All right, so I've put a couple of stitches in the wall of this uterus just to close that hole over. And that should seal over quite nicely. And she should really have no problems breeding for next season. We've certainly had lizards we've done this procedure on and gone on and had normal reproductive efficiency if you like. So we'll go ahead now and close up this abdominal cavity and wake her up. To stitch it close, we're going to stitch the underlying muscle under the skin first. And then we'll put a layer in the actual skin. So we just put the first one here. And we just use a dissolvable suture material called PDS. As you can imagine, it's fairly fine work. These are only little animals that we're doing surgery on, so lots of fine suture materials and little fine surgical instruments to be able to do it. So just putting the last suture in the abdominal wall, we've closed up that body cavity. And so these sutures will dissolve over a matter of time, several months normally. So we don't need to try and take those out, they'll be buried in underneath the skin. So now we're going to suture that skin shut over the top of those. So for the skin stitches we're going to use a suture material uh, It's made out of nylon and it's a non-dissolvable suture. So we will take this stitch out, or stitches out in about six weeks time. All well, the owners may do that, they've come from a fair distance to come and see me today so I probably don't want to drive all the way back to see me just to have a couple of stitches taken out so they will probably be able to do those on themselves, by themselves. Lots of different patterns that you can use to stitch with. In this case I'm going to be using what's called a horizontal mattress stitch. Just tends to make the skin roll out a little bit and tends to heal a little bit better. But in all honesty, it probably really doesn't matter what pattern you use, it's all going to heal. So just putting the last of the skin stitches in. Once I've done this, we'll wake her up. I'm going to give her some fluids under the skin just to help keep her blood pressure up a bit and some pain relief. And I'd expect her to be up and about in the next hour or so. And she should be able to go on and produce other little babies.